Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Today we're going to be taking on another secret boss. But before we start, I'm going to discuss the general strategy for doing so. Once you've beaten the game, you can actually return to the Keyblade Graveyard, but this time we can fly to the Badlands. Ooh, what is that about? Well, there is another secret boss fight. Some would say the hardest boss fight in all of Kingdom Hearts history. I would have to disagree because there's one a little bit more difficult. And why are my commands nothing but high potions and mind squares, you may be asking. To do this boss fight while commentating is very, very difficult. So I'm going to have to use somewhat of a cheap tactic to defeat him. It's not too cheap. There is a far more just scummy way of beating this boss very easily and I decided not to show that one off because it's just kind of boring but this one does take a little bit more skill but is way easier basically this boss that we're about to fight if you ever use Kiraga or cure or anything outside of using a potion he will heal himself and because this boss has only one HP bar and that's how cure works it's per HP bar you are going to lose out on a lot of damage you would be inflicting to the boss. The other method is Mind Square. Now this boss is extremely mobile. And he has a tendency to hit himself onto these mines. So we have four maxed out Mind Squares and we're also using the Stormfall Keyblade. Pretty much the best we got from Magic so we might as well hang on to it for the time being. Once we beat this boss we'll actually get a way better Keyblade which is going to be awesome by the way. Anyways. Next, let's check out our abilities. These are pretty much standard f affair. You pretty much want all of these. HP boosts and cure boost are a must. Actually, you don't even need cure boost. Item boost is the one you want. Attack haste, magic haste, combo F boost, and combo finish. Not really that important. We got all the screens, reload boost, defender, combo plus. EXP chance is kind of useless here. Damage siphon, and of you, you, you cannot do this without second chance once more and leaf bracer. It's just way too hard. It's actually, no, you wouldn't even use Leaf Bracer. Just make sure you have once more in second chance because this boss is going to do a number on you. And he has to better show off the strategy that it involves these high potions and mind squares. Well, it's pretty much just easier to show you than explain it. So let's get started on, in my opinion, one of the hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts history. go oh man this boss I do not like I mean I like it but uh, the lingering spirit of Anitas is very difficult and, uh, it does dang it if you're fast enough there you can actually stop him from getting this attack off and if you hit him with the mind square but unfortunately I missed which is really really bad I'll set another one of those up and basically I hope you like the square crap I hope you like the square button, because that's what you're going to be hitting for pretty much this entire battle. We're doing very we're doing very small amounts of damage here, but the mind square tactic, at least for me, is the way to go. When he makes the screen black like that, you have to dodge that attack, because he's going to use blackout on you. It's also going to do a ton of damage, and it's going to make it really hard to dodge his attacks. And okay, We're doing like a clean 10% damage with our mind squares. The issue here is that it's very unsafe to heal unless he's using that blackout attack. If he's not using that, it could be a little risky. And you could very easily die. This guy does so much damage so quickly. Okay, this is a really good chance to heal. And there's really only so many attacks where it's safe to get off a high potion like this one and when he uses his shot block. So I honestly recommend just stay away from him, only heal when it's safe, and just keep mashing that square button <laughs> when you need to dodge. Okay, I think that's around half HP, and he's using this attack again. 
honestly, all you gotta do is make sure that you can dodge, and you should be fine. He's using a Fission Fire Aga. And it will hit us, but that's fine. We got a high potion off just in time. Let's set up some more mind squares and keep rolling. Now, the alternative way to beating this boss is to not even use high potions and not use the mind squares. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I am not that skilled of Earth Wise Sleep and can't do that. So I have to resort to this somewhat cheap tactic, but at least I can commentate while doing it, which is the good thing. I mean, I hope I can do it. We're still no, not even close. If you mess up at any point, it's pretty much over. He's gonna use the shot lock here, and this is why I like Aqua so much. Uh, this is why I like Aqua. It's because she can get that large amount of, uh, you know, vertical distance and just jump straight over it, which is really nice. And okay, so far we're just keep running away. He's using this uh, dome attack, I guess. And he's gonna send a bunch of after images after us. It is somewhat difficult to dodge all of these, but I think. And I may be the only one who thinks this, but when you're farther away from him, it actually gets easier. And okay, this is actually the best I've done in multiple attempts. This is really good. This is not a no hit at all, but hey, I'll take it, man. All I want to do is beat him. All you gotta do pretty much is just keep on rolling. Luckily, as I've said before many times in this Let's Play, you do have a lot of invincibility frames while rolling. And yeah, it's pretty helpful. Oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. Let's keep running away. Oh, that was so risky, but it paid off, I guess. Oh my gosh, she's so low HP. If I can finally do this. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Don't die, don't, don't die. Please! Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot to start talking. <laughs> guess he's so low! We can do it. We can do it. Come on. Just step on the mine. Just step on the mine. Heck yeah, dude! Oh my gosh. I finally did it. Oh my gosh. And for beating the lingering spirits of Vanitas, we will get Void Gear. A way stronger Keyblade. Oh my gosh, I, I, I can't even believe I did that, honestly. Like, that fight, and the one we're going to take care of in the next episode, and heck, even the ones after that, were the reason I did not want to make a Let's Play of this game, just because they're so hard. And I could never beat that guy in the PSP, it was just way too difficult. But we did it! We did it, and Vanitas is no more. Is that the best strategy? Probably not. I still think the strike rate strat is a little bit stronger, a little bit easier, but hey, that that helps me beat him, and I recommend trying it if, you know, you're having a hard time beating that, uh, that boss. <laughs> My heart is still pounding, man. That is a tough one, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely made me sweat, but is it the hardest in Kingdom Hearts history? Eh, maybe, it's debatable. I don't know, and yeah, that will give us a very high increase in our, uh, physical attacks, and man, just the keyblade design in itself looks so nice. They did a really good job on that, honestly. I understand it's just a palace swap of Vanitas' keyblade, but still, it it looks cool. The black and the white, I like it. It kind of represents a little bit of Ven and Vanitas' history together. And Yeah, if you've ever wondered what those uh, unversed orbs are, don't worry, it's nothing really too interesting. Basically, you can become an Inverse and get a command to do that, but... Yeah, I'm just showing off the Keyblade a little bit. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot, but there is a stronger one to obtain. And in the next episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth... Crap. <laughs> I was trying to turn around and hit the wrong button. I guess I'm a little too used to hitting square. Anyways, in the next episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, we go after another secret boss. So see you guys then. Bye.